Hello, my name's Lindsay and I'm a mum of two. I have a toddler, Violet, who is now 19 months and I have a newborn, Pearl. She is seven weeks old and as you can see, she is sleeping soundly in my arms. So as a mum of two and two under two as well, I wanted to talk to you today about the fourth trimester. This is my second go at it. The first time I was really daunted. The second time, I was really daunted. So yeah, it's, um, it's a difficult time for both mum and baby, but you can make it even more comfortable with a few little adjustments, a few little treats to yourself, and just knowing about what the fourth trimester is. So the fourth trimester is the time from birth until three months, and it's a massive transitional time for both mum and baby. The baby is getting used to life on the outside, so they're going through so many changes. It's one of the fastest times in their development. They'll be learning everything from new sights, sounds, smells, and it can be quite a difficult time, so they're gonna need lots and lots of care and attention and reassurance from you to get over some of these massive, massive developmental leaps. So life with a newborn is an intense but beautiful time. It is a time that you'll remember for the rest of your life. During the newborn days, your baby is going to rely on you for absolutely everything. They need you for feeds, they need to be settled to sleep, they need to be reassured and comforted, and you are everything to them. Luckily, there are plenty of ways you can prepare for this before your baby arrives. So there is no need to go to the shops once your baby is here. You have everything set up and you can just enjoy these newborn days. So one of the most important areas to set up before your baby arrives is a nappy changing area. So you've got everything all in one place if you need to change a nappy and you'll be changing a lot. Newborns can need up to 12 nappy changes a day. And also that doesn't just mean they're nappy. Quite often that includes a baby grow, a vest, a whole outfit change. So be prepared for doing a lot of changing and make it really, really simple for yourself by having everything all in one place. In the early days, your baby is going to want to be strapped to you 24 seven. So a baby carrier is a must, especially if you have other children. But having a good carrier where your baby is close to you, you can feel your heartbeat and feel the movement of your body can be really soothing as it reminds them of being back in the womb. Before your baby arrives, you might want to buy yourself a baby bath to buy some nice toiletries. Don't forget to buy them a nice new fluffy towel so that when they get out of the bath, they are all nice and warm and maybe some baby lotion or oil so you can do them baby massage as well. You'll soon find when you have a newborn that feeding them takes up a huge, huge amount of your time. Newborns eat a lot. If you're not changing their nappy, then you'll be feeding them. I'm breastfeeding Pearl at the moment. I do like to express milk so that my partner can help me out with feeds and also with our toddler, it does make things quicker to sometimes be able to grab a bottle. So some of the products that have been lifesavers in this situation have been to have a really, really good breast pump. We've used the man bottles for both of our girls. They are really good. As I'm pumping, I also have been making a little freezer stash of breast milks, which have been really handy for collecting extra milk and means that I can go out on some of those valuable date nights. For the long feeds on the sofa, make sure you have a really good breastfeeding pillow. And lastly, with breastfeeding, I would say to stock up on lots and lots of breast pads. Just learn from my mistakes. Don't go out without a breast pad on and wear a grey t-shirt. That's all I'm saying. The most important thing with the fourth trimester is you just take it really easy on yourself. It's a really difficult time for both you and your baby. So stock up on lots of snacks, lots of nice foods for yourself, little treats. You know, remember you've just pushed a baby out and you've done an amazing, amazing job. Anyway, I really, really hope that my fourth trimester tips were helpful. Congratulations on your new one if you are in the fourth trimester yourself or you're going to be really soon. Thank you for watching.